hey you guys welcome back to another video today we are going to talk about money as the title suggests today i'm going to tell you exactly how much i've made on youtube yeah my first youtube paycheck well, technically it's not my first but it's my first on this new channel for those who don't know i had another channel that was deleted it was a whole story in fact on this particular channel my first video i talk about everything and everything that happened so yeah in case you're new here and you'd like to like learn more about what happened to my previous channel you can go and check that video out so before we get started kindly like the video share with your friends and also watch an ad and today i'm going to explain to you why i'm always insisting for you guys to watch ads so yeah let's get into it so a little background of what my channel is about so i mostly make lifestyle content and traveling here and there the traveling is not too loud but that's because i really do love traveling by the way but it requires a lot of money and i feel like right now we are not there yet so maybe in the future this will be like a travel channel i don't know i don't know but mostly for me it's lifestyle and i feel like that's where my heart is at and i love it here <laughs> i love creating lifestyle content in fact let me show you a few clips of what my channel is about so that i can convince you to subscribe okay let's do that it's in my bitch, say she had bad Anytime I knock, I knock it out No rubber band, no rubber band Every time I put down, they show me that If I know loud, she got my back I do you who, I'm happy that I do you who, say everything I do is for my woman Anything I talk, when you talk, I go do one so if you want to find out exactly how much i made i'm sorry you guys i'm not going to add timelines so you'll have to scroll for you to find exactly where i said how much i made and i hope you miss it and then now you'll be forced to watch the whole entire video and to watch the ads because it's only right okay <laughs> so please if you want to find out exactly how much i made i'm sorry you'll have to watch this whole entire video I started my channel nine months ago and i just got monetized five months ago so it has taken me like a span of four months to get paid and let me tell you it was not easy it was not easy but the reason why i was monetized and it was quite easy for me to make that money in that span of time i feel like it's because i had another channel and with that other channel i knew all the mistakes that i was not supposed to do with this new channel I hope that makes sense there are requirements that you need for you to start getting paid so you need a thousand subscribers and four thousand watch hours it sounds pretty simple but good luck good luck to you if you need more information on how to reach your four thousand watch hours and their thousand subscribers you can do like some research there's so many there's so much information out there and yeah if you, i'm just going through like the basic things because guys this video is for me to show you how much i made so i'm just going through the basic information that i feel like everyone knows but in case you need like an in-depth uh more information just do your own research there's so much information out there and you will find exactly what you're looking for so there are many ways of getting paid on youtube so let's say you've gotten to your requirements and they've accepted you and you've added ads to your videos by the way another thing that i almost forgot you need your videos to be like eight minutes and longer so that you can place as many ads on your videos as possible so if you want to like make sure that you're getting a lot of money make sure your videos are like eight minutes and longer so this is how people get paid on youtube there are so many ways i only know of eight ways so if you know of more ways than the ones that i'll mention comment down below like i've said we're here to learn let us help each other i'm pretty sure there are so many things that i also don't know and i would like to learn so let's get started so the first popular one is through ads and this is why i keep on insisting for you guys to always watch ads don't skip the ads they are so annoying i know i know i know i know they are but if you want to support someone and you're just you're watching their content guys just watch the ad you literally just need to watch the ad just make yourself busy make yourself a cup of tea let the let the ad run so that the content creator can get paid and i'm not even saying that for me only like your favorite content creators and you want to support them of course if you cannot support them through money 
you can just watch the ad to let them make their coins so that they can continue creating content for you guys so that's why i keep on insisting you guys if you see an ad just watch just watch just watch <laughs> yeah another way of getting paid this is quite popular and i feel like everyone knows this is working with brands so i'll give a brief example for example i'm working with samsung right so samsung gives me like a tv and then in return i'm supposed to tell my followers about it like show uh, the features of the samsung tv show how it works i show it to my followers then samsung has gifted me the tv for free that's how it works of course if you're a big brand you can also exchange the the information with money i know big like if your if your brand is big you can ask for like a huge amount of money and you'll still get paid i see so many content creators especially here in kenya working with brands and i'm pretty sure they're smart about it and they ask for money so that's how you work with brands it's not only kenyan brands even international brands for example do you see those content creators who are always like showing us wigs yeah so what happens is the company will send the wigs to that certain influencer and then she's supposed to review it and then you keep the wig and you also get money so that's how you work with brands another way of making money is through affiliate marketing so i see this mostly working with amazon so for example i have this tripod that i'm using right and i got it from amazon and a lot of my followers keep on asking me where i got it where i got it so instead of just saying instead of just telling my followers oh i got it from amazon and now you have to go and struggle to search it then i'll place a link on my description box so every time somebody purchases something through that link then i get a certain amount so that's how affiliate that's how i understand affiliate marketing works i could be wrong but no i'm pretty sure that's how it works Another way creators earn money is through super thanks. So hapo chini, hapo kwenye kuna like and dislike uh, button, there's also another sign in kwa and S. And I know a lot of people don't know about this. So the S, when you press the S, you can directly send money to someone for as low as 200 for as much as 50,000, I think. Yeah, and you can directly send them through M-Pesa. So... That's pretty straightforward and I know a lot of people don't know this but yeah if you see your favorite creator and you want to buy them lunch just you can send the money directly uh, through your M-Pesa and then it goes to their AdSense account so when they get to a hundred dollars that's when they will get paid. The other way of making money is through memberships so yeah if you have you can charge your followers a certain amount to be members so every time you drop content they are the first to know and have, guys by the way there are channels who have like so many members like there are people who are blessed yo there are people who are blessed there are channels who have like certain members who say who pay a monthly amount of money and honestly i feel like that is so cool like that is epitome of support imagine you just being a member to someone's channel because you just love their content that you want to like support them that is so cool i also have um i don't have members it's fine yet i don't have members yet but i've activated it so if you'd like to be a member of my channel yeah you can pay a small amount you can pay a small amount i don't even charge a lot but yeah that's also another way of how people make money on youtube so the eighth way of making money on youtube or the eighth way of how creators make money on youtube is through merchandise or popularly known as merch so what that means it means that if you have like a big following or if you have like a dedicated following yeah you can make uh, some merchandise you can make you can make t-shirts you can make keychains you can make um what is it called phone cases and you can sell them to your followers so yeah that's how much work all right you guys so now the moment you've all been waiting for drum roll please <laughs> now it's about time i show you exactly how much i made on youtube and for this i have to go to my laptop so let me get it and then i'll be back this is where i'm going to show you exactly how much i've made so on your youtube studio you'll go to your channel dashboard and then first of all we need to change the currency as you can see we are paid in euros we need to change this into kenyan shillings instead of like wasting our time converting so the way you do it you go to your settings 
and then here is where you'll find all the currencies so of course because i'm in kenya i'm going to change mine into kenyan shillings mine is usually in kenyan shillings i don't have time for like converting and also it motivates me nikiona pesa ikia in kenyan shillings you know so there you go and then you save it here and there you have it as you can see now my money is in kenyan shillings so let's see how much i've made in total so far yeah now there you have it so for the last 28 days i've made 6861 in all honesty this is a good amount and i feel like it has amounted to this because of the two three videos that have really gotten views those three videos are the ones that have really helped me um, increase my revenue otherwise oh i'd still be grinding but yeah so for the last 28 days i've made this also have in mind that you don't get paid until your money imefika a hundred dollars so mine imefika and i'm happy honestly and it's all thanks to you guys for watching the videos yeah so you'll now for you to see like the total total amount of course this is like what i've made in the last 28 days now for me to see how much i've made in total you'll press here for so you'll press that and then you'll see the last 365 days how much i've made so there you have it guys i've made 12,016 kenyan shillings honestly this is um a decent amount and i feel like everyone that i've watched who has made this type of vid a video like my first youtube paycheck especially kenyans the amount is usually this it ranges around here when you make more than twenty thousand, although i could be wrong but people usually make a hundred dollars or 70 euros if you will so this is the amount that I've made, 12,016 Kenyan shillings. Honestly, it's not a lot, I know, but I'm grateful. Um, being paid for like something you're passionate about is pretty cool if you ask me. Like something you love doing, you enjoy doing, and then you get some money in return. It's, honestly, it's such a good thing. So thank you so much to everyone who supports me. And I know a lot of people have clicked off because you've already seen how much I've made. Please don't do that. Let's let's continue the video. <laughs> There's still so much more to learn. But yeah, guys, this is how much I've made. Now, let me show you the three videos that have really contributed to me, like earning that amount. So you'll go to content. And then the first video that I'm going to show you, actually, the three, the three videos are all the bedsitter um besita tours so the first video that i'm going to show you is this one that has twenty four thousand nine hundred and ninety two but they're still getting views so i'm pretty sure it at a key to 30 or 40 or something like that i'll be really happy because the money still keeps on counting and counting and counting all right so for a video that had twenty five thousand uh views you can see that i've gotten paid 2523 so yeah that's why earlier on i say that approximately if you get a thousand views you get paid oh my phone is dying oh my god i'm so sorry guys i need to charge my phone um <laughs> wow I can't believe it this is so bad okay so let me do this quickly what i mean is it clearly shows i think i had mentioned this earlier that for every a thousand views you get paid a hundred kenyan shillings so as you can see twenty five thousand gives me twenty five hundred let me also give you another example of a video that i did also actually that one is my bedsitter house tour this one has 33,599, so let's say 33,600. Let's see how much this one has earned me. Oh, guys, I hope you can see. So for a video that had 33,632 has earned me 3,691. As you can see, that's how it ranges. So for every... 
1000 you get paid 100 you get 2000 you get paid 200 you get 10000 views you get paid 1000 kenyan shillings you get pay you have you, if you get 20000 views you get paid 2000 kenyan shillings and so on and so on if you get a video that has 50000 uh, views and then you get paid 5000 kenyan shillings so yeah as you can see that's how it works so this goes to show that people who have like really good views on youtube really do get paid well because imagine if for a video you are amounting like twenty thousand views twenty thousand views so that means you get paid to 2k 2k so it's really easy for you to get to a hundred dollars if you have good views on YouTube. Right, you guys so now that you've seen exactly how much i've made as you've seen it's not a lot of money honestly this is just making peanuts but it's also good because it gives you motivation this platform has so much potential i've seen people who like started from the ground and they're making they're like building mansions so it has so much potential but you also need to put in the work let nobody lie to you that it's not work this literally is like a nine to five only that you don't have to go to work like every morning but it's also work it's also work and a lot of people don't see this but behind the scenes oh my god this is so much work so yeah if you ever see a creator who's like doing really well for themselves just know they've put in the work and just support them and yeah there's this um quote that i saw somewhere and it made so much sense it was uh this is how it went uh god did not put those dreams into your heart for nothing let me repeat god did not put those dreams in your heart for nothing if you genuinely feel like inside unawasha washa too you need to be a content creator i will just start of course you need to be passionate about it you don't have to do it because everybody is doing it if you feel like it's not your passion it's all good by the way i feel like this is where people also go wrong like you also want to do it because everybody else is doing it no just do it because you feel like you're passionate because girl you will be tried you will be tried of how passionate you are about your channel because let me tell you if i wasn't passionate about my channel if i wasn't passionate about this channel or about content creation i would have given up a long long time ago because tell me why my other channel i had worked on it for four years actually was it four or three but it was a pretty long time and then it was deleted and everything went down the drain all the effort all the content all the money that i was making that time down the drain and I had to start again. For me, that just I just felt like that was someone that was just God trying me. Like he just wanted to see how much passionate I was about this thing. Cause I started again and now we are here. And yeah. So overall, my point is if you genuinely deep down feel like you want to start a YouTube channel, start. Start a YouTube channel. So let's get into the tips of having a successful YouTube channel. I'm not saying my channel is successful, no ways, but I feel like my channel is headed in the right direction ever since I started incorporating these tips that I'm about to tell you. Let me tell you, when I was starting my other channel, I suffered, guys. I didn't know anything. And funny enough, I did not do my research. I was just doing everything and everything on that other channel. And I feel like that's why... Um, it failed honestly if you ask me I feel like that channel was failing oh, oh my goodness the way I was doing hair videos and then another time I was doing house tour videos empty house tours restaurant reviews my channel was all over the place and that's because oh my goodness that's because I didn't know what I know now so if you're a small content creator or you've not started your channel you're very lucky if you're watching this honestly you are because these tips are very crucial and i feel like everyone who's a content creator needs to know this let's get started so the first one is good quality oh my goodness and i cannot insist on this enough have good quality in this day and era where everyone is a content creator everyone and the mamas is a content creator and there's nothing wrong with that honestly there's nothing wrong with that in fact i'm so happy that i'm in this generation because this is so creative like literally whoever came up with this idea of content creation god bless your soul because this is so creative imagine you can just make money at home like yeah so have good quality 
there are so many nice affordable phones out there that you can buy i use galaxy a14 and the reason why i keep on the insisting on the type of a phone i use is because i remember the way i struggle to look for a good phone and yeah i don't want you to struggle so get yourself a good phone i personally use galaxy a14 and if you want to get yourself a similar phone go for it all right so another tip of having a successful youtube channel is having a niche oh my goodness this is also as important as the first one and i cannot insist on this enough i know there are other people who say that niching is not as important but for me honestly i feel like what has worked for me is niching down my previous channel i used to do house tours empty house tours i used to do um restaurant reviews i used to do cooking videos like my content was all over the place and i feel like that was what was slowly killing my channel and i didn't know so luckily for you just niche down if you are uh, if you want to do lifestyle content do lifestyle content specifically if you want to do vlogs do vlogs specifically and you'll see a huge huge difference of course the subscribers will grow slowly but remember you don't get paid by your subscribers you get paid for views so once you get to a thousand subscribers honestly i feel like subscribers don't even count anymore for example i have 2700 subscribers of course i'm always happy when someone subscribes but at the end of the day i don't get paid for my subscribers i get paid by the views so yeah i think the main aim here is to have views more than subscribers and the way you get views is if you're small following is watching your videos that way your videos will get recommended more and more and more and that way you'll get views and that way we get paid so yeah don't don't even concentrate on the subscribers of course they do count when you need to be monetized you do need those a thousand but once you get to a thousand honestly i feel like they don't count anymore another tip of um having a successful youtube channel is being consistent of course everyone keeps on insisting on this be consistent be consistent be consistent of course youtube uh, rewards you if you're consistent for example i do have a video that i want to post right now as i'm filming this because what consistency it really really helps i've seen like a tremendous change on my channel ever since i started being consistent another tip of having a successful youtube channel is um not comparing and this i'm also telling myself because the way i compare because tell me why we're doing the same content and you're getting hundreds and thousands of views and yet i'll do the same content and i'll get 500 views don't compare what we are missing here and i'm also telling myself you're missing a point here the person who's getting a hundred thousand views they've built their audience they have like an audience a good audience that will constantly come back to watch the same video so it makes sense for me i don't have a lot of subscribers i just literally started nine months ago so i've not built like a solid fan base or a solid um audience of course there are people who constantly watch me of course i do see your comments and i know there are people who like constantly support me and i'm always so grateful i'm not taking that i'm not taking that for granted guys i always appreciate those people who always watch my content but yeah my channel is still small so i need to grow it more and more and more so comparing is really the thief of joy comparing is really the thief of joy don't compare simple and like i've said this is also me telling myself because the way i compare <sighs> another tip of having a successful youtube channel is um posting what you're inspired by let me tell you there is nothing new under the sun there is nothing new under the sun like if you sit down and you're thinking oh i need to be unique who's going to watch you who's going to watch you on youtube there is literally a blueprint of what you need to do for you to make it like for example if you have your favorite creator let me give two examples of people that really really inspire me sarah and everyone knows sarah and roda roda minor those two people really inspire me because i have seen them grind like those two people their channel is purely based on hard work honestly i can't even say that it's luck no for them it's pure hard work and that's why they motivate me so much so for those two people if like um i'm inspired by them then i i create content that um is similar to theirs not copying guys not copying 
not copying there's a difference between inspiration and copying let me give you an example so for example i will see that roda has posted like a kamukunji video right and then she has bought a few things a few household items and then maybe the video has done really well on her channel she's a lifestyle content creator i'm also a lifestyle content creator so in my mind i'm like okay cool so people love watching kamukunji hauls right so i'll go to kamukunji and instead of buying exactly the same things she has bought I'll bring in my personality, I'll buy what I need for my house and I'll buy what I like. I hope that makes sense. So instead of copying exactly what she has bought, if she has bought like um, storage jars, then I go ahead and buy exactly the same thing she has bought, then that that is like copying. So if you're inspired by someone, try and incorporate your personality, what you like, and you bring it in so that it can have... Some type of uniqueness i hope that makes sense guys i hope it makes sense the last tip of how to have a successful youtube channel is not being obsessed with analytics oh my goodness the analytics can drive you crazy especially this is also me telling myself when i post a video and then you call number 10 i feel so bad that day my whole day is ruined but if i post a video and then it becomes number one i feel so happy but i feel like i've evolved so much nowadays i'll even post a video and i'll not even check the comments i'll not check how it's doing i'll be like i've posted it now it's out of my hands i can't do anything imagine i take equal number 10 then i can't do anything about it so nowadays i've learned honestly i've learned so much so every time i post a video i'm like all right cool i'm chill i'm chill about it there's nothing i can do and it is what it is so i don't really stress myself out with the analytics and I know they can be so stressing, especially when you're, when you're a small content creator. You really want to make it so bad. So you're constantly checking. It's number 10. Oh, the views are not even coming. People are not commenting. And now you feel bad. And you shouldn't. So as long as you're consistent, you have a game plan, you are going to make it on this platform. Those are all the tips that I had. I'm pretty sure there are other tips. That I did not include so if you're watching this and you have more tips that you can add comment down below and help us out help us out so that we can grow together I always say this this platform is so big for everyone don't ever feel like oh I don't know if people will watch me imagine people will watch you people will always watch you you'll always find your audience so yeah those are all the tips that I had and yeah